best and brightest all need to be brought together, notwithstanding that they've come from different places. As individuals, we need to put self second, community first. This is a special moment in world history. Idealism, creativity and innovation. We have to actually stop talking about innovation and we need to start doing it. So I thought, why don't we run a conference? I didn't have any sponsors. I didn't have any speakers. But I booked the venue because I thought, this is really going to work. So this is billions of times uh, more powerful per dollar, constant dollar, than the computer I used as a student. If the machine says no, they dare not risk using their own better judgment. Yes, there is a lot of disruption, a lot of angst, but also a huge amount of opportunity. It creates the illusion that it's bringing us together, but it's actually keeping us apart and making it easier for us to stay apart. Do we stay retreated in our own little bubbles where life is certainly <laughs> comfortable? If only a little lonely. Or dare we brave ourselves to expand? Donate. Be novel. Be connect a bubble. Be merge a bubble. In my fantasy. I imagine a world that is fair and free With everyone living in peace and connectivity Any question you had, any fact you needed to know, you could at least find something on that on the internet. The challenge now is actually understanding what's important. Paperback books. I wrote a book, it's out there, it's in paperback. I don't suspect my daughter will ever buy one of these. talking about the world's broken, it is a little, uh, but if we're going to mend it, you already know you can inoculate kids against poverty with learning. You already know that kids who learn together curiously don't want to kill themselves at the end of it. When you're dealing with boomers and Gen Y, there is a big gulf between the mental model that they have in their head as leaders and the mental model that the Gen Y folks have. It's really exciting and inspiring to see how far we can take the human being. Um, and I encourage you to stand in the future, look back at the barriers, and work on the barriers. 12 years ago, people didn't use search engines. That really sounds like ancient history. The world is changing faster and faster because of this exponential growth of information technology. Inspiring and, and reaffirming. Trendsetting. This is my idea of my dream conference. Amazing. <laughs> I love it. I love the idea of uh, creative innovation as a conversation. Nothing more engaging than hands-on group stuff. I think it's more about connectivity and uh, how we can actually build a global organisation by connecting well. If our usual thoughts are following the main track, and then there's ways of breaking out of it, challenge, provocation, random entry, all these are ways of getting away from the main track. And they can all be learnt, practised, used, until you acquire some skill on them. This is the female part, that's its stigma, and that's where the pollen's received. Three, two, one, cue! Both knowledge and connection are now 
significantly greater than ever before, which means the potential of people is greater than ever before. Stop looking to the future. Look in your organisation now and start innovating with the things that lie around you right now. So forget the future, look back. The ripple effects of our actions translate all around the world. So let's make those actions positive. We've talked about how hard it is to predict the future, but you know the best way to predict the future is to invent it. such an easy, simple idea that I can take back in my training capabilities. I think there are at least 100 individual things that, that are quite useful for our organisation. It's only when you really face your death that you learn to live, but what is a great life and what is a healthy life? And now I live with all the gods of endless connections. Slow is very fast. I'm up all hours on all sides. I am the vibrato of information. We fail to acknowledge the cost of inaction. So if this drug doesn't get approved, how many thousands of people die as a result of the delay? It's okay to create and, and not judge yourself. I think that's one of the toughest ones. And, and draw the metaphor if you're in an organization or a company, you didn't raise your hand, you didn't shout out that idea because you were worried someone's gonna shoot it down and say it's a stupid idea. You need to encourage that in yourself. We need to embrace deeply the thought that it is about the end, how we do both of these things, how we celebrate our breadth while retaining our depth. It was um, really exciting. Um, inspiring. Diverse. Thought provoking. Eye-opening. It's like a little bit of magic. Edward de Bono was amazing. Creative thinking, it's a skill which everyone can acquire. Beep, beep, beep. out of the education system to be able to drive the innovation, drive the disruption that we need to drive productivity, I fear Australia will be left behind. And I want to leave the world in a better place than I found it and I believe our kids want to do the same. Lots of laughs, lots of uh, energy in the room, it was just so exciting. And when you're really having fun then barriers kind of go down and new ideas don't get dismissed so readily. When you play, there's no fear. I was more than twice Chloe's age before there was a television set in this country. Today, we, we seem to trade in iPhones, well, by the year, it seems. When that exponential gets to a real point of inflection in about 15 years, uh, we will be adding more than a year every year to your remaining life expectancy in about 15 years. So if you can hang in there, we may get to see the remarkable century ahead. Trust in learning. Learning age, learning is the most fun, the most fun you'll ever have with your clothes. Uh, actually, probably, <laughs> to be honest, it could be quite lively with your clothes off too, so I'll leave you with that thought. <laughs> out think, out execute, uh, don't out plan, don't out buggerize around, don't out shit yourself and worry that the sky's gonna fall in. Just go out and do something. Definitely when you leave, check your BlackBerry and update your Facebook. But I'd also really encourage you to actually think about your heart. And when you, when you get home, take, take a moment just to spend time with someone that you really love. That's what makes for a great and meaningful life. If you find your voice, you will find your purpose. It's the power of one. Don't wait for anybody else to change your life for you. Only you can do it. So go out and do it now. Please. Thank you very much.